Well, hi guys, it's Namika 4 here with the Samsung Galaxy S4. We're going to show off some of the multitasking capabilities of this handset by using the multi window feature. Now, there's two ways in which you can turn this on either double swipe down and then turn on multi window from here, or you can go to menu, settings, go to the my device tab, then display, and then put a tick next to multi window. Notice you get a little white tab along the left hand side, and what you can do is just swipe right to turn it open or swipe left to dock it back in again and you can only see the tab. If you don't like the tab there, just hold down the back button until it disappears and then you're done. And if you want to re-enable it, just hold down the back button and then it reappears. Now you get a raft of applications within this dock here that are compatible and you can use. But if you hit edit, you get some more that you can add into the dock if you want. So if you want to say remove the gallery, just hold it down from the dock and let it go in the right hand side area. And say if you want to add an application, do the same thing but in reverse like so and then it puts it back in again now unfortunately you can't add in your own applications on the right hand side here so whatever the applications are on the right hand side those are the only ones that are compatible with your handset once you're done with customizing what applications you want to appear on this uh, multi-window dock hit the done button and then you're done there so let's load up say for example youtube and then we'll dock that in there uh, let's have a look what video we can load hodge twins are always good we'll just let them load up here Wicked intro, wicked intro. Okay, so what we want to do is load up another application. So we'll load up uh, Google Maps. So this time we'll drag and drop it though to whatever we want it on the screen. So top or bottom sections of the screen. So we'll do the bottom section here. And there you go. So I can have a look at Google Maps while also watching a YouTube video there as well. Now notice this little green down arrow or blue down arrow that's on this little section of the bar. That means that the controls that you can see here where you can switch the windows, make them full screen or just get rid of them appear on the bottom window. So if you tap towards the top, notice that arrow then points towards the top. So those controls then appear there. And it's easy as this, you just tap that button there to swap the two windows around. Like so, as easy as that. If you want the top window to be full screen, obviously make sure that little arrow is pointing up and the controls are on that particular video or particular application. Hit that full screen button and the second window then disappears. To bring it back in again, obviously you have to just drag and drop. But if I want, say, the maps to be full screen, just hit that button there and the YouTube disappears. If I want to bring in the YouTube, just drag and drop back in again. And notice it will pick up where we left off, like so. So, and if you want to get rid of any particular applications that you've got in split window mode here, you can just press the X button like so and then it disappears. Obviously YouTube can be full screen as well, like so, there's no restriction there. And in this mode, you still got the tab, so you can still go to, I don't know, for example, Facebook. We'll drag it on the left hand side here. You can drag it full screen as I mentioned earlier. So we just drag the bar across hit that full screen button there and YouTube disappears and there we have Facebook in full screen mode. Don't know where Graham got a baby from but hey ho, uh, I'd like to see the delivery address on that to be fair. So we'll go back again and this time what we'll do, say if we load up Twitter, again we'll do the same thing, drag and drop to whichever part of the screen that we want and boom, there we go, we've got Twitter running with Facebook at the same time if I want to switch those around again like so if I've had enough of both and I want to go back to YouTube for example get rid of Twitter what we could do is just drag and drop it say on one of these ones here whoops try that again there we go and then as I said the video once you hit play continues from where you left off like so and if I've done with both I just want to watch this full screen as easy as that that's the multi-window feature on the Samsung Galaxy S4. No routing required, completely stock standard, and easily you can turn it on and off and get rid of that tab as well just by holding down the back button if it's slightly annoying to you at all. Any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw. If you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's also down there as well. Doesn't cost you a penny. And you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day, and we'll see you next time.